Today, April 16th, 2020, the town of Lansing in the state of Michigan is making headlines where the people are revolting against the government lies. Patriot Americans getting out into the streets with guns and assault rifles because of the governor, Gretchen Wittmer. It says, remove the Whitmer regime. Guys with pistols, assault rifles, assault rifles, big gun here. Here, lots of goodies. So when I heard the Swiss name Whitmer, I immediately understood, uh-uh, Swiss yet work against the American people. Here it is. This is the origin of the name Whitmer. Whitmer, that's where it comes from. And a few years back, the Swiss had one of their seven heads of the beast state with that name in its original form, namely Wittmer Schlumpf, whom you can see here. As Swissy Americanized their names like President Herbert Hoover or J. Edgar Hoover, real name Huber, which I explain at length in this video series here, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil, in three parts. Here's the title. Here you can see the same, the same people, you know, Herbert Hoover, the president, J. Edgar, same face, and they're all Huber, Swiss Hubers. Also, the name Gretchen is a typical name from the Alps, which means little Greta. Schön. Uh, it means little in German, like Gret, Greta, Gretachen, Gretchen. The part Mer in the Swiss Wit Mer means a pyramid in Pharaoh's language. So here I can, I'm going to show you some very interesting information on this uh, Gretchen Whitmer, the governor and that her name is the same way as it is written in uh, in the Swiss language, the same as the, uh, the Swiss head of state, one of the seven ones. There you go. And here it says here, Gretchen's patrilineal line can be traced to Jacob Wittmer, exactly the same way as I've shown you before of one of the seven heads of the Swiss beast state. I knew it immediately when I heard this. And um, uh, Wittmer, Wittmer, you know, already changing the name in a T, who was born in 1739 in Germany. But I'm going to show you, and I already showed it in my film, The Swiss Beast, where there's more about this. They are from the Palatines, just like Obama, just like Trump. They all come from the Palatines, which is a, a part of southern Germany next to Switzerland, where the ethnic Swiss live. It's on the Rhine, so the Rhine was the motorway in those days. And many of them, they went to England. That's why the, uh, the, the British Prime Minister, what's his name, Boris, uh, whatever, he has a... Um, an ancestor, which is a Swiss mummy uh, from Basel, from Baal. So look at it, you know, Wittmer, it's Swiss. I, I knew it immediately. I mean, they're everywhere on all key positions, just as that president, Wittmer Schlumpf. Sounds almost like Wittmer Trump. Yeah, this is a, on, the, on the Wikipedia on von Grafenried, Christoph von Grafenried, the guy, a, a, an aristocrat, and who is a, um, um, was an ancestor of uh, Laura Bush. And I went to the castle in Switzerland where they come from. And this guy, he founded New Bern in, in North Carolina, which is not very far away from Michigan, isn't it? And from Pennsylvania. So, von Grafenried recruited a group of German refugees from the Palatine region. There you go. Why from the Palatine region? Well, because he knew they're all Swiss. And they're not going to tell you. 
I have a lot of more information on it on in, in other videos. I, I, I don't remember which ones. It's, it's all Swiss. The Palatines, Obama, Trump, they're all from the Palatines. Yeah, here it says, then it's in Wikipedia, Swiss Americans. You can look it up yourself. Look. And the number of Americans of Swiss descent is nearly one million. So there are currently one million Swiss Americans holding all key positions in the US. I've been telling this for years. And it's already started in the 17th and 18th centuries when many Swiss mercenaries of Octagon were sent to the US in service for the King of England and against the American people and who now call themselves the police. Here you can see it. The earliest Swiss settlers in Canada were mercenaries. And that counts also for the US. I mean, they, they come into Canada and I mean, afterwards they just go to America, right? So watch this film here, Octagon, the Empire of Darkness on channel Gatsefrats to understand who the police are and where they come from. Like this hat is octagonal, a New York police hat. This is Octagon. It's all from the Nazi Templars. You must absolutely watch this to understand this governor, uh, Wittmer governor. Most of the Wittmer names and etymologically from the Swiss Wittmer are to be found in Pennsylvania, right next to Michigan. Here you can read it. Pennsylvania had the highest population of Whitmer families in 1840. The most Whitmer families were found in the USA 1880 and 22 Whitmer families in Pennsylvania. And Swissy even says it. When the Swiss made America. You can read it here. When the Swiss made America. They absolutely believe that America is theirs. And it gets more and more visible too. I foresee Donald Trump sending Reaper drones after the American people soon, which I already explained to you in this video here, when they killed this man here, and the reason why. And they're gonna do the same with the Americans soon i think i'm here to help you good americans with this important intel here because you have no idea yet who the real enemy is their name is octogon from the alps